Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Of course, you know what time it is. It's time for me to track the tropics, let you know exactly what is going on out there. Do we have anything to worry about for this week? or maybe into the next. The answer is there are a couple of areas that we're monitoring that could cause us some problems. So I'll get to that in just a minute. However, we're gonna go over where we've been so far for this 2024 Atlantic Basin hurricane season. We've had, let's count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven named systems. We've got 21 names on this list, so 14 more to go. Hopefully we won't have to use any of those additional names. But of course, we started the season off with Alberto. We were hit right here in Houston by Hurricane Barrel. And of course, most recently, we had Gordon flare up in the central Atlantic and became a tropical storm. Now it has weakened and we're calling it the remnants of Gordon. So as you can see, the next couple of names on the list would be Helene and Isaac. And we are certainly monitoring the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico for that potential tropical development. All right, let's start off in the Atlantic and really the one area where we could have tropical development over the next week would be what I was just talking about, the remnants of Gordon. Still situated in the central Atlantic. It's this blob right here that you see that burst of convection, the yellows, reds, and oranges indicating the showers and storms associated with this disturbance. At this point, there's no well-defined center. It's basically pretty disorganized, but there's a low 30% chance that it could regain some tropical characteristics and become a tropical system. Over the next 48 hours, there's an even higher 60% chance, that's a medium chance, that we could have yet another tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane with this system over the next week. Here is the good news. It's kind of meandering right now. Expect it to kind of drift to the north over the next several days. So that would keep it out over open water. We've got Bermuda over here. And of course, to the south and west of the system, we've got some of the northeastern Caribbean islands, but I don't think it's going to make it to either of those locations. So that is certainly some good news. So we will continue to closely watch the remnants of Gordon. But guess what? I don't think we have to worry about it too much at all. So that is certainly some good news. All right, let's shift to the other area that we're closely monitoring. Of course, we are still in the month of September, which typically is the busiest month out of our hurricane season. And we closely watch for action that could bubble up across the Caribbean Sea and of course the Gulf of Mexico. Anything that pops up in the Gulf is always a big concern for us here because we are on the Gulf Coast being in the Houston and Galveston areas. All right, so this is what we're monitoring right now. You see a huge L on the map right around Central America. And you may ask yourself, what the heck is that? Well, this is what we call a Central American gyre. So it's a really large area of low pressure, fairly broad, fairly weak, but it usually kind of centers itself right around Central America. And it's most prevalent usually in the late spring and early fall. And of course, we're a few days away from the early fall. So this Central American gyre is trying to get itself going. It basically sits here near Central America and produces showers and thunderstorms. And occasionally it can spin up a tropical system or two. So here's what you need to know about the Central American Gyre. Like I said, it usually produces some of that heavy rain, locally heavy rain, rough surf and mudslides, most common in the late spring or early fall. And like I said, occasionally with that large scale circulation, you can get some smaller scale circulations or more focused areas of low pressure that can develop from this Central American Gyre and kind of separate themselves from the overall circulation. And one or two of those eventually could turn into a tropical system. So that is what we are monitoring. That's what the National Hurricane Center is monitoring. So it's this area shaded in yellow that you see very close to the Yucatan Peninsula. This is in the Northwest Caribbean Sea. This is the area that we're monitoring. I really don't think anything is going to happen over the next few days. In fact, National Hurricane Center gives this disturbance, potential disturbance, about a 0% chance for development over the next 48 hours. However, as we go through the next week, 
there's a 20% low shot that we could get a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm to form right around the northwestern portion of the Caribbean. So that low could form over the next several days. We're watching that closely. If it does form, it's likely going to drift north into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Now here is where the models kind of differ. A couple of our long range models are indicating that it could head maybe northwest. Another one is saying it could slam into Florida as it develops. So we really have to wait and see what these models are saying as more model runs come out as we get closer to this event happening because right now they're kind of all over the place. But of course, it does appear that there is at least a low chance that we could have a tropical system developing near the Gulf of Mexico, especially early to the middle part of next week. So we're watching things closely. Also, I'm keeping an eye on it with our future cast. Let's put this into motion hour by hour, and you'll notice that things look fairly disorganized around Central America, that western, northwestern part of the Caribbean through Saturday. But as we go into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you will notice maybe a little something something trying to get going here very close to the Yucatan Peninsula in that Northwest Caribbean Sea. So this is likely going to be that potential system trying to develop Monday into Tuesday. You can kind of see that circulation getting a little bit tighter there. This is going to be right around 5 p.m. Tuesday evening. So by that time, we could be close to having a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm forming. And what is it going to do? It's likely going to ride right up into the southern Gulf of Mexico. And then we'll have to see if it takes a turn to the left or the right. Because if it takes a turn more to the right, that will be Florida. If it moves northwest, it could come close to us. So we are monitoring things very closely. We definitely have plenty of warm water out there to fuel this possible tropical system if it pops up on us next week. Water temperatures have been extremely warm all season long, and today is no different. We've got water temps close to 90 for a big chunk of the Gulf of Mexico, western portions of the Atlantic, steamy out there, and even into the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Yes, water temps are certainly warm enough to sustain and to fuel any potential tropical system. So we're going to have to watch this closely. We've still got a little less than two weeks to get through for September. And like I said, September, usually the busiest month of hurricane season historically. And notice the area with the highest shot for development, the Western Atlantic, the Central Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, higher than average chance for maybe another named storm or two. And the Gulf of Mexico has a higher than average chance for tropical storm formation as well. So that's why we are keeping a close eye on that Central American gyre and any other areas of concern. Now, as we go into October, the situation changes a little bit. That overall really high threat for named storms that could turn into tropical storms or hurricanes starts to go down. But notice right around the Western Atlantic and parts of the Gulf of Mexico, the Southern and Southeastern part of the Gulf, Northwestern Caribbean, still a higher than average shot for these tropical systems. And that's exactly the area where we're gonna be monitoring next week, Northwest Caribbean, Southern Gulf of Mexico. And that's exactly where we could have some development. So we are watching it closely. It's still a little early to say exactly where that tropical system would go if it develops and heads into the Gulf. But of course, we are looking at models, fine tuning things day by day. So keep checking back as we get more data, more information, and we will let you know what the models are showing. Bottom line, it is still a very busy, very active part of our hurricane season. The peak was around September 10th, and really through the first few weeks of October, things could still get a little crazy on us. So you definitely need to stay alert, be prepared for a tropical system that could possibly head our way during some part of next week. It's not certain, but with that potential tropical system in the Gulf, it is a possibility. So make sure to have your insurance papers ready to go. Make sure they're protected in case you get flooded. Make sure you have your emergency gear that you would need in case we do get hit by a tropical storm or hurricane. And of course, keep it here. We'll be here day by day updating you on what craziness is going on in the tropics. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Stay safe out there.